Hey crafters, it's Janet with Crafting It Up in Creations coming at you today with my second in my series of Make It Merry for 2019. I'm doing Christmas ornaments every Saturday from now until Christmas. And I'm gonna show you the ornaments that I made today. Now, ahead of time, I apologize for my voice. I've been really sick um, the last three or four days. I just got down with this, maybe the weather changing or something. So I'm gonna try to get through this and um, share with you the cute ornaments I made. Now, this was last week's ornament. I probably won't recap on all of them, but maybe when I'm done, I'll recap on every one that I've made at the very end. But this was last week's ornament made with the Hobby Lobby rolling pins. I love that one. So this week we're gonna use these little gift toppers. These came from Target in their little dollar spot section this year. And I absolutely thought these were so cute. Just by themselves, of course. It says teach, love, and inspire. They were in with their school stuff. So you may still be able to find some of these lingering around. My target at that time had a bunch of them, and it was like people were just kind of overlooking them. I really like this one that looks like a sheet of paper. I may end up using that one in the future, and maybe just adding some vinyl to it. And then I'm going to take these, and I'm going to actually paint over a few of them. I did keep one or two in their original form. One day, one, one of the things that I would actually love to do is go back and teach nursing. Uh, we do have like a local community college that has an um, awesome program and it's one of the things that I would love to do. This Waverly chalk paint in the ivory, I used it and I also used the Waverly chalk paint in the truffle. And then the craft sticks, I just used to stir these up right now just to get them in a good consistency. And I'm gonna paint over the first one with the truffle. Now the truffle only took about two coats and it was covered, like it did really well. The ivory took four coats and I could still see the words through it somewhat. So I did a fifth coat and then I ended up adding um, some dry brush on with the truffle on the ivory so you couldn't see the words. But if I have to go back and do it again, I would say use gesso if you want it in the lighter color. And I even dry brush the ivory onto the truffle one. And I love how these came out. I think it looks so good. And you know, no ornament will ever look the same when you do it. And man, if yours does, I would love to know because I can't do it. So as you can see, you can still somewhat see those words. But what I'm gonna do is take that truffle and I'm gonna go over it. Now I'm pulling out these Paper uh, Sweeties stamps again. These are awesome, these are made in the USA. It's papersweeties.com and they look like Ray Dunn lettering. And then I'm gonna take this archival VersaFine um, Onyx Black ink and I'm gonna stamp it onto the ornament. And I've got just a little clear block so you can see where it goes. And I kind of put some good pressure down on there. And look, oh my gosh, it is so cute. So if you don't have a vinyl cutter, um, these little stamps are like $12 or $12.99. And I just love them. I'm gonna use these a lot in upcoming videos. And of course, we're gonna go back and use those value pack beads from Michaels. I'm gonna to try to show you all kinds of way to use these things up. Now, I'm using some of the smaller ones, so I did pick out some twine that's more tightly woven so that it will fit in the holes of those beads. And that's really the only thing that you have to take in consideration. And something strong that will hold it. So, I took the ivory one and I did a little bit of dry brushing. I got it a little bit too heavy, so I went back across it with a little bit more of the ivory and then I'm gonna stamp down the word believe on this one as well and then for this one I'm gonna add some little 3d embellishments that came from Hobby Lobby they are little poinsettias and they're so cute I hot glued these onto the ornament 
Of course, these are back again this year. I have already seen them at Hobby Lobby. And starting two weeks ago, all their Christmas stuff started being 40% off. So I hope that it kind of stays that way up until Christmas, but who knows? Absolutely love how this came out. And these are the two that I came out up with so far. I love how they came out. But of course, it occurred to me that you may not be able to find these supplies at your Target Dollar Spot. So I decided to try to make one on my own. This first one on the left that you're looking at is my first trial of trying to make it. And I learned a little bit from it, so I'm going to show you what I did. These are super jumbo craft sticks that are from Walmart. They're $3.47 a pack. Uh, these skinny craft sticks. They're either $2.48 or $2.98. I'll link down the actual price below, but you can make several with these, of course. The popsicle stick itself, I'm actually going to trim off that little rounded end on each one. I have to change up my view because my camera, when I put it into the um, editor, it keeps cutting off the bottom part. And then I'm going to take this over to the three and a half mark. And as you can see, it, it comes out to seven in the end anyway, and three and a half was the actual size of the other one. So these worked out really well. They make an even bigger popsicle stick that might even work better than these do. But these are what I had on hand at the time. And I'm gonna cut it in half. Now these are Dollar Tree scissors, but they are a newer Westcott um, scissor and they cut these really well without splintering it. They did have a little bit, sometimes have kind of like a sharp edge to them. So I did take the sanding block from the Dollar Tree and then just use that on the edge. If you didn't have that, even a nail file would work really well with popsicle sticks. And then the skinny stick, there's a little bit left over on these. Um, I just threw the remainders in the, in the bag that they came in to use for other projects. And this is some clear gel um, Aileen's Tacky Glue. I used it for the back part of the ornament, but honestly, if I did it all over again, I would just use the hot glue because that's what I end up using on the little skinny sticks in the front. It holds faster and it holds really good. And I'm just going to start out by putting two of the skinny sticks on the top and the very bottom. And I just run a little small thing of glue across it. And then I'm going to space them out in between. When I first did my first one, I kind of tried to do it on the seams so it would hide that. But I felt like it made them too short. And I want there to be a decent room in between those skinny sticks so that you can put the words in there. Now I'm going to use this uh, Waverly chalk paint in the color Mineral on this one. And I do end up going ahead and doing two coats. The first coat of this almost somewhat looked like a stain because some of it you could still see the wood grain and I was going to leave it. But as it dried, some areas were thicker than others so I did end up doing two coats on this one. I really love this color. I thought this one came out really pretty as well. And then I'm going to take some more of the beads from Michael's. Um, these are the unfinished ones. You can dye these with like the Rit dye or you can paint them. And I hung them on a string and then I actually knotted it and put it on an ornament hanger so it would hold it into place. I'm sure there's a better way to do this, but this was just so I could show you on camera what I did. Um, and of course, chalk paint, it dries very quickly and I love it for that. But I just paint a few of the beads so that I can use them on the ornament as well. And then this, I'm going to use the gray cording. This was in the everyday value section as well with the beads. And I'm just going to string every other color. That way it's not too much of all of the same color on the ornament. But it comes out really cute. And I don't have any magic number. I ended up not using maybe three of the ones that I had painted. And then I put a little bit of dollop of glue on each side and I give a little bit of extra room with the cording so that it can hang nicely. 
you know, and it's not bumped up too much with the bead there. So I've got a little extra room on each side for the beads to set right, and then I even leave some space in there so that I can add a bow or tie some ribbon onto that part, um, something to kind of add a little bit more to it. And this is what it came out looking like. I did go ahead and stamp Faith, Hope, and Love on that one. I did make one more of this with the brown and the ivory uh, dry brushed on it. And I'm going to end up adding um, ribbon and stuff to this one too. I love how these came out. And I'm going to kind of show you all the different ones I made again. Um, of course, the sky's the limit on decorating these and adding bows, adding jingle bells. This is a really nice project to make if you work in an area where you wanted to give everybody a little something, but you didn't want to break the bank doing it. And they come out so cute. And of course, you could always use um, stickers um, and Mod Podge over them to hold that on. The sky's the limit with these. And it wouldn't cost a lot and they wouldn't take a long time to make I mean I can imagine an assembly line of you know going ahead and cutting up all the pieces first and then hot gluing it together wouldn't take any time at all and I do recommend the hot glue you know even using that tacky glue I didn't like it as well And again, I apologize for my voice. It's taken me, I know, at least 30 takes to get through this short amount of video this morning. But I wanted to get this out for you guys to see, and I wanted to stay on schedule. I absolutely love how these turned out. I wanted to show you also that the little um, Paper Sweeties stamps worked really well on those little tag dies that I had done before. On that one I showed, I did use this Delicata ink. It wasn't dark enough, so I ended up using this antique gold embossing powder on it. And that Delicata ink was on clearance at Hobby Lobby recently. Worked out really well. This one is my favorite. The little snowman is so cute. I did these um, a couple weeks ago, and I was looking at the words, and I was like, oh, the snow would be so great on this little snowman and it's kind of like a chalkboard tag from Michaels and with that um, unicorn white pigment ink from Hero Arts um, it just looks like somebody wrote on it with chalk and I love these Ray Dunn um, style letters and that came out so cute so here they are hanging on my forever tree if you would please give me a thumbs up if you like this video and if you haven't subscribed make sure you subscribe to my channel I'm gonna be doing a new ornament every week from now until Christmas I really appreciate you stopping by and spending some time with me today and of course when you like a video like mine or any other YouTube puts you in this algorithm and it matches you with other like-minded crafters. So if you like this type of video, they'll match you to other uh, YouTube creators that create a lot of the same content and I love that. You can get so many different ideas and find all kinds of inspiration here. I hope you all enjoyed. I hope you get a moment to craft it up and take care and God bless.